For a long time, rail travel has been criticized for poor tasting and pricey food. But a train now has one enthusiastic chef who makes the journey sizzle. Nija takes a look. It's an art form of a fine serving. This is the daily work routine of the 35-year-old Zhang Wenliang. Look closely and you will find that he's no ordinary chef. Waltzing between several walks, he delivers the performance and dishes that satisfies even the pickiest of customers. <laughs> Many may love his version of scrambled eggs with tomatoes, something which he considers his house specialty. But what he's most famous for is his delicate knife work, slicing vegetables into the thinnest pieces. In a local TV talent show, Zhang won over judges and audience with his thinnest tomato slice that was threaded through a needle's eye. That video went viral on the internet and Zhang won the accreditation as the coolest train chef in history. This award did not come easy. Ten years ago, Zhang came across job ads from the train station scouring top-notch chefs for its star-level train. It was also a time of China's rapid railway expansion. So Zhang gave it a shot and went from a five-star hotel to the train station. But his starting days at the train service were disheartening. At first, I was not so used to slicing vegetables on a train that was constantly moving. So one day, the train suddenly pulled to a stop and accidentally sliced my fingers, and blood poured out immediately. Some unfriendly co-workers saw me getting hurt and mocked me, hissing, what a nice move. I was so disheartened and threw away the knife and went home after work. But my father encouraged me and said that a man had to be responsible for his work. Zhang went back to work and continuously perfected his slicing techniques in a moving environment. Over time, he became a star chef, but he's not contented with the status quo. There was a time when my friend said to me that I only excel at making northeastern Chinese cuisine, but nowadays, southern China cuisines are more popular. Taking cue from his friend, John decided to learn from his fellow workers to improve his culinary skills that caters to a wide variety of tastes. Once it was not just the cooking on the stove that got him all heated up, he rejected the idea of railway management raising food prices on the train. Most of the passengers are migrant workers from Jiangsu province who work in northeastern provinces. They earn a meager income and cannot afford the higher prices. Zhang said he enjoys the fulfillment of a job which brings not only food on the table, but also fanfare from his customers. One that many lovely travelers appreciate as the warm, delicious meal accompanies their way home. Yijiao, CCTV.